people have such an intense relationship with almost all of your pictures. Well, I mean, I love doing them. Um, I can't say as I, you know, you, you, you watch them so much when you're working on it and finishing it that I, I can't say that I ever get, it, it, once I finish it, it's very hard for me to watch it. And when a movie opens especially, I get feel very vulnerable. And so I, I'm not one of those people that can sit and really enjoy it with an audience, unfortunately. Uh, because I just, it's just it's too close, I feel too vulnerable, and uh, take me like a good three to five, seven years to actually kind of sit back and, and enjoy it, really. Do you have a sense of a Tim Burton movie? Is that a, do you have a sense of yourself in that way? No, I mean, people have sort of said that. I really shy away from that because uh, I like to remain a human being and not a thing, you know? <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, it's one of the reasons I moved out of Los Angeles, and I don't really engage too much in the the politics of it, is that I just don't like that idea of, of becoming a, a thing. Mm -hmm. and, and and so whenever that s issue comes up, if somebody, most people I know don't ever really say that to me, but uh, when it does come up, I get very uncomfortable about it because it's like, you know, you like to just feel like, mm -hmm. you know, you're just doing things that you love and, and not doing them for whatever, financial or for s reasons of, of a sort of a brand of some sort. Was there a moment in the career arc where you finally were in a place where they said, okay, Tim, it's your thing, we don't have to touch you anymore? No, they never say that. I, I mean, I always, you know, I think each film, I, I thought when I first started, I thought, you know, I, after I was lucky enough to have a couple of successes, I thought, well, you know, now it's going to get easier and I can just kind of do whatever I want within mm -hmm. reason. And uh, But that really didn't turn out to, to be the case. And uh, I, I've long since gotten over the fact that that's going to be the case. I think that each film is very difficult to get made anyway, mm -hmm. and each one has been a real struggle to get made. Um, so when you thought it was slightly different in the sense that it th things are easier sometimes when they happen quickly. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, sometimes in Hollywood, if things start to take too long and right. they, they kind of invert on themselves or something. And, and uh, so there is something to be said about something happening quick, uh, that, that, that often is the times when it's uh, is the easiest way of happening. Your films are so independent-minded, and yet they're all studio films. Yeah. And so it's like, you're wondering where you want to take that $10 million and a digital camera. And the thing that you think you realize at the end of it all is that it's all different, you know, it's all, you, you any movie, even if it's a low budget, right. it, you're, it's somebody's, it's, you know, somebody's paying for it, or somebody, you're, you're answering to something, you know. I think that's the nature of making a film, which is fine. So it, it's just, it is strange that I have only done that with the studio. Uh, it's sort of all I know in a way, although it, it hasn't really shaped the way I do things. I still try to do things in a way and still think, you know, I don't think about, oh, studio, making a studio money. Mm -hmm. I mean, I. Th I do think about if there's a certain budget that you try to be, you know, I, th I think you think that way in any movie. You think, you know, you try to be responsible because you're dealing with people and you're dealing with places and, you know, environment and everything, and, and you just try to be responsible with it. So did you think of yourself until recently as a family man? I mean, was that your <laughs> idea of the universe ah, that you yes. have? Yes, Ozzy and Harriet, <laughs> yes, Father Knows Best. Well, you've always um, had such empathy for kids. I mean, it's in all of your work, really. Yeah, well, adults wouldn't say that. That's the thing I'd always freak out. They go, oh, this movie's for kids, but kids can't see this movie. It's like, well, I don't, I don't know. I wasn't thinking about making it for kids, but I wasn't thinking about making it for adults. I wasn't really thinking about who I was making it for. I, you know, I, I think I've always made things based on, you know, your own inner life and, mm -hmm. you know, movies that you grew up watching at that time when you are a child is a, is a formative time in your life therefore you those are the things that you know are a part of your DNA so you know if you watched monster movies when you're a child and you loved them I think you always loved them uh, you know there's something about it that that becomes your energy of trying to create things that have always inspired you